You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Spoof and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. Three teenagers face charges over a stabbing in a mall. It happened during a robbery attempted in the parking garage at Towson Town Center last week. Baltimore County Police arrested two 17 year old boys and a 15 year old girl. One of the boys will be tried as an adult. Police are searching for more suspects. Two life sentences with no chance of parole for two deadly shootings, including the murder of a Baltimore police officer. Elliot Knox was convicted in March for killing Officer Kiana Holly and shooting and killing Justin Johnson. In December 2021, Holly was in her patrol car on Pennington Avenue in Curtis Bay when two men, Knox and Trayvon Shaw, came up and just started shooting. Two men also shot and killed Justin Johnson just blocks away. The incidents were about 90 minutes apart. Shaw was previously sentenced to life without parole. You know, as the weather heats up, many families are going to want to spend some quality time in the water. But a few new rules in Baltimore have families looking for somewhere else, somewhere else to swim. The rules ban bags on the pool deck and require you to use a locker if you bring a bag. Maggie Beckman lives a few blocks away from the reopened Patterson pool and she says this rule is a major inconvenience, especially being a mom of a one year old baby. I'd have to wrangle him, wrangle the stuff and also like keep in mind about my surroundings and everyone else that's around and it's just the thought of doing that is too much for me to even consider. Nikki Cobbs, the chief of aquatics, says all of the rules are there to enforce safety and sanitation for everyone who uses the pool. A chance to see history in flight. The World War II Warbird Showcase is touring the mid-Atlantic region. It's an event that brings some of the most historic airplanes to one spot. At the Hagerstown Regional Airport, three planes take the stage for rides. They were used during World War II from 1942 to 1946. And coordinators of the event say it keeps the history alive and is important to pass along to the younger generation. These warbirds that flew in World War II and how that changed history. And they're too young to remember it, so we feel it's part of our mission to educate them on the history of the warbirds that we have and why they're important. This tour will be going on at, at several different locations throughout the rest of the year. We've got all the dates and stops for you on our website. Storms and showers are back through midweek. We're talking a wet Wednesday and then lingering into Thursday. So keep that rain gear nearby. I know it's been a dry start. It's starting to change. Highs hold in the mid 80s, staying hot and humid. A lot of energy for those storms to work with. The later in the day the th on Thursday, the better. By the time we get to Friday, skies dry out and then into the weekend, low 80s, partly cloudy skies, lower humidity, overall not bad. We'll carry over in the next week. We stay dry Monday, Tuesday at around 81 to 82. Kelly? All right, stick with us online at WMAR2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store.